Well, it's, uh, once again, it's, we're very lucky to, to have a good label want to sign us, so there's many bands that are getting signed for that label. They're trying to get all the good heavy metal bands together, you know, the Halfords, Queensryche, made everybody in. Do Megadeth, Megadeth. Do they have Queensryche? Do they have Queensryche? They will. Oh, maybe they will. No, they don't. No, they got Halford, May, uh, Megadeth, that's it. You're right, yeah. And Overkill? They got Overkill. There quite a few bands in there. But no, that was, for us, it was not a question of choosing labels in the States. We were lucky to get any record deal there because Annihilator has not been popular in the United States for about 10 years. So. Then uh, do you think that uh, this cooperation with the Metal Leaves will uh, help you to break into the mainstream in America? Well, it's, um, it's already helped us with this new CD, uh, get lots of radio airplay and press trips What's and that? things, uh, Shallow that? Grave. Sh shallow Grave? <laughs> yeah. Um, the, the record company put the song Shallow Grave on all the radio and uh, metal radio, but also on some uh, hard rock big stations. And some of the DJs thought it was an old Bon Scott um, re-release, you know, like a, a, an old studio track. Mm -hmm. And it got a lot of publicity because people were calling in to the main stations in Los Angeles and New York and Chicago um, asking where they could find this ACDC song on what CD. And uh, so that's how we got popular in the States. Well, uh, maybe, maybe I'll be talking to a lawyer from ACDC pretty soon. <laughs> Well, popular in the States with such a cover, it's quite brutal, isn't it? Yeah. Cannibal Corpse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Isn't it quite brutal? What's that? The, it's brutal, isn't it? Yeah. Raw. Yeah, this one, basically this lovely cover is, uh... <laughs> actually, a very famous artist did this cover. Really? From Austria. He does uh, all the Ma Marilyn Manson mm -hmm. stuff, and, uh, I just gave, uh... You know, I, there's no way that we had the, we didn't have the money to, to have this guy do our cover. Mm -hmm. But he was a fan of Alice in Hell, uh, so uh, he said he would do our cover for us for very small money. Okay. And I said, oh, thank you, good, good, thank you. So I gave him the title of the CD, Carnival Diablos, and he came, and he uh, came up with that. So mm -hmm. I didn't tell him what to do because guys like that, you just let them do their job. They know what they're doing. So, mm -hmm. so what do you think of the next Annihilator album? Uh, Joe Camus will be on the vocals. Uh, maybe. We'll see. You don't know yet? <laughs> I hope so, yeah. Mm -hmm. We hope so. Um, right now, uh, let me see what's going on. As far as lineup goes, everybody's happy. Our drummer, Ray, might be leaving because he's got a little boy and a little girl who might be... Um, he split up with his wife and the boy and girl might come and live with him. And if they come and live with him, he's going to be a full-time dad at home, yeah. so he won't be able to tour. But other than that, I think everybody's well, having fun. We're having a blast. We're this, having fun. this kind of family thing have uh, destroyed a lot of bands. Yeah, but fortunately for for Annihilator, it can't destroy the band because uh, it's only <laughs> only unless I quit, give it up. So you can't kill me so far. Mm -hmm. Not yet. Okay, Jeff, your message to the Greek fans. Well, if you don't get a chance to see us play for you here in Greece um, this time, we sure hope we can come back and play for you again. It'll be quite an honor. It's an honor to be here tonight, um, and tomorrow night, and last night. And uh, we hope you like the record, and uh, we'll see you soon again. <laughs>